Okay, so this video is a, a relatively quick video on um, lower pneumonia, which is a problem with uh, people with several mutations, but it's mainly the A1298, uh, NOS, SUOX, or sulfur, uh, and CBS mutations. Um, some of them are a little more complex. Um, for A1298, uh, there's supplements, other things you can do. You can lower protein, you can take um, you want to raise BH4 as well as lower lower ammonia, and you can do that by taking orthanine. Um, you can take that, excuse me, uh, orthanine, uh, royal jelly, and NADH. Um, for NOS, it depends on um, how many mutations and other stuff, but by boosting nitric oxide, especially if you have several mutations. Um, you can take a number of supplements and do an, eat an, and uh, change your diet up. Um, I've heard, and I will uh, likely in the future do separate videos or articles on these things individually. Um, uh, NOS is something I'm actually trying to figure out myself because I think it will lead to better uh, or less muscle fatigue and also better uh, strength gaining, especially when doing weight training. But you can do a number of things. You can take. Um, Citrulline malate, which I've heard helps a lot. Um, arginine, it helps some, but I've heard citrulline is more effective. And taking, I've heard uh, beets can help a lot, and I've heard cocoa and watermelon can help a lot too if you eat that. But um, and hawthorn extract, and I've heard a number of other things. But those are the main things that I believe. Um, and also exercise, I've heard just by pumping blood, it will help with that. Um, the suox or the suox is basically sulfur and um, I actually haven't had that tested, and I don't know much about it personally, but <clears throat> um, one way you can treat it is by eating less sulfur foods, which I find pretty simple. Um, in CBS, it's a mutation, I think, that affects a number of things, which can affect how A1298 and the NOS, and you can take supplements for that, and it depends really on what CBS mutation you have. Um, these are it's still some things that I've been looking into and I've been reading about. Um, it's pretty complex. Uh, I've actually had my ammonia tested and it seems to be lower, which is good because sometimes it can take. Uh, I found that the orethanine uh, that that has helped a lot, especially with brain fog. I mean, as you can tell in some of my latest videos, I'm still dealing with it, and I'm and I don't I don't know if it has to do with that or something else. Um, but it seems to help a lot, especially the erythanine. I noticed a big, uh, big improvement with that. Um, other things is you can go to an MTHFR specialist and or functional medicine practitioner, someone that knows this stuff because it can get very complex. Um, but yeah, um, lowering ammonia and then raising BH4 is probably a big step in uh, dealing with ammonia because if you have high ammonia too much ammonia it can cause a lot of problems such as brain fog and uh, muscle fatigue and fatigue in general but that's pretty much it um, when I know more I'm gonna focus probably on at least the NOS because I've been doing research and trying a little few different supplements and the sulfur mutation and the CBS I'm gonna look into more but that's basically it on uh, how to low lower ammonia and I have a Scooby article on uh, more specific instructions and different supplements to take. Um, but I might split that up or I might just do separate ones to elaborate on other aspects of it. And uh, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I do do a lot of research and I know not to sound too ego egotistical, but I do know a lot more than some other people out there and even some doctors, I would say. But yeah, that's it. Um, comment below if you have any ammonia issues or have any other questions and I'll try to answer them.